Hi, this is Aida Bashkir Martin. Welcome to my channel. And today I will discuss with you human anatomy and physiology of the reflex arc. If you want to watch more videos, please feel free to click the subscribe button below at the end of this video. In this uh, uh, slide, I put the getaway arch of St. Louis picture to, to point out the reflex arc and arch are not the same things but it's an easy and a common mistake between the students uh, sometimes one letter can change the meaning of the word yeah, let, let's start the talking about the reflex arc at the end of this video you should able to define the, what is reflex and what is reflex arc and describe the component of reflex arc in orderly manner and identify these components on a, a polysynaptic reflex arc model. Reflex is an immediate and subconscious reaction to a harmful stimulus. Reflex arc a neural pathway that controls the reflex. According to complexity, response, development, and processing side, there's different classifications. We will talk here uh, the polysynaptic and somatic reflexes mostly. And complexity, uh, according to complexity, and reflex and reflex arc can be defined as a monosynaptic or stretch, and secondly, polysynaptic or, or withdrawal. Monosynaptic, that means there's only one synapse, Polysynaptic, that means there is more than one synapse in this reflex arc. And monosynaptic reflexes, if we need to give an example, uh, uh, it's deep tendon reflexes that, that commonly used in practice, like patellar reflex or knee jerk reflex, uh, a good example. Polysynaptic reflex arc is a withdrawal reflexes when you put your hand on a hot surface by accident you immediately take your hands off uh, through the polysynaptic reflex arc withdrawal reflex and according to the response uh, either somatic that means they are associated with the skeletal muscle or autonomic that means they are uh, associated with internal organs Without stimulus, there is no uh, uh, reflex. So you need to have a stimulus, and you need to be able to receive that stimulus. So first step in the reflex arc is a receptor or receptor organ or sensory organ. And after the message taken, it has to be traveled to the central nervous system. And this done by sensory neuron or effect, efferent neuron. And spinal cord is the control center, and in spinal cord uh, we have an interneuron or intermediary neuron or associ association neuron. They all the same thing, and this neuron allows the uh, the transmitting the information from sensory neuron to motor neuron. Motor neuron has another name, efferent neuron, and brings the order to related effector organ which effector organ does the gives the response let's repeat it what is the order of the reflex arc and, and compare with the uh, or show those uh, components on the reflex arc polysynaptic reflex arc model first sensory organ think about it if there is a hard surface and you put your hand the skin is your first a sensory organ first number one labeled with the number one and the information carried to the spinal cord through the number two labeled with the number two sensory uh, uh, neuron uh, uh, or afferent neuron and interneuron uh, the number third uh, in line intermediary or interneuron and uh, label with the number three and green color coded and motor neuron is a red color coded and numbered with the uh, label with the number four and effector organ is number 
five. Uh, as you see, when we have a danger, we have to give a quick response. This is a subconscious involuntary response. Involuntary, that means there is no under, it's not under the brain's uh, conscious control. However, uh, the, uh, when the response is given and, and there is an information sent to brain, so if there is any further uh, uh, things to do, the brain can uh, help to, uh, uh, to, to, to do the process. Or um, you can create a memory so you know that oven is hot, do not touch it when it's hot. And reflexes are the most objective part of the neurologic examination, and they are commonly used in practice to determine if there is a damage in the nervous system uh, or not. If there is, what is the level of this damage? And I uh, listed for you the some common reflexes that are used in practice often. Stretch reflexes, deep turn reflexes, we mentioned it. Superficial reflexes like gag reflex, corneal or plantar reflex used as well. And as you see, it, I wrote next to the gag reflex uh, and uh, the, the cranial nerves because they are cranial reflexes. And number nine, with the Roman number is the sensory neuron for gag reflex and, and cranial nerve 10 is the motor uh, uh, neuron for gag reflex. Um, visceral autonomic reflexes, good example is a pupillary light reflex which is in a, a cranial nerve 2, optic nerve is the sensory and cranial nerve 3, oculomotor is the motor neuron for visceral autonomic reflexes. Babinski reflex uh, is uh, uh, commonly used the plantar reflex uh, uh, when you scratch along the lateral aspect of the sole of the foot with an object across the ball of the foot toward the great toe it causes extension of the great toe and fanning of the other toes we call this Babinski positive and uh, Babinski positivity is normal in the first six months of life but if it is seen after six months, it considered a pathological reflex and suggests the presence of an upper motor lesion. Babinski reflex uh, uh, known even in the 15th century. You can see the Botticelli's uh, Madonna, uh, uh, Child and Two Angels uh, uh, art. Uh, you see the Babinski reflex is uh, presented. So, key points. I hope you learn the uh, reflex actions are involuntary and immediate, and most reflex arc polysynaptic. And order of polysynaptic reflex arc, first receptor or sensory organ, second sensory neuron, third intermediary neuron, fourth motor neuron, and fifth effector. Reflexes are the most objective part of neurologic examination and Babinski reflex positivity might be suggestion and upper motor neuron damage after six months of life. Can you test your knowledge? What is the number four stands for? Yes, if you said the motor neuron, you are right. And what is the number two depicts? And it is sensory neuron, you are right. And number one is the sensory organ and uh, number five is a factor organ, and number three is the interneuron. If you are struggling uh, uh, with any subject of hypnoanatomy physiology, please feel free to comment below my video, and I'll be happy to uh, make a video to clarify uh, or help uh, ease your uh, struggle. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, um, I hope you learned it and you enjoyed it. Have a good day.